It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hop Along Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And appearing as that laughable old character, California, is Andy Clyde. Now to our story, Renegades of the San Rafael. Evening shadows spread across the San Rafael Range to touch the sun-baked little town of Kearneyville. There's an ominous quiet in the air, broken only by the stomp of restless horses tied to the hitching rail in front of the schoolhouse. Inside the schoolhouse, there's the creak of gun harness and the ring of spurs on the plank floor as angry ranchers mill about. A slim, brown-haired girl stands beside the teacher's desk, trying to make herself heard above the mutter of their voices. Some mistake. Mistake, nothing. John Carter sold out his neighbor. Here I stand. Yeah. Sure. My uncle wouldn't cheat anybody. Then why don't he show up and deny that he sold his ranch to the Triangle Water Company so they can take over and run the ruin of this valley? Come on, answer me that. My uncle will be back to explain his actions. I'm sure of it. John Carter's run out on us. He's a coward because he ain't got the nerve to face the folks he's wrong. You can't say that about him. My uncle has been a friend to you all. He ain't no friend now. Him and Dolan is in there together. They're both crooks. Just a minute there. I represent the Triangle Water Company. Oh, sit down, yeah, Dolan. Sit down. Now, I don't know where Carter's gone. I don't care. But I have a bill of sale to his ranch, and the dam my company will erect is going to benefit everybody. It'll benefit a lot of darn potbusters. You know this land ain't fit for nothing but cattle. Certainly, and I'll, I'll have, have to remind you up. boys of something. Remind us of what? The laws of this country don't favor one group over another. Farmers or sodbusters, as you call them, have as much right here as you. No, they ain't neither. We was here first. Sure, we was here Wait first. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, boys. Quiet down. All right, go ahead. Talk. As soon as the dam on the Carter Ranch is finished, there'll be water for all. How do you figure that, Dolan? The more shares the man buys in my company, the more water he'll get. Pay for the water we used to get for free. I'm a businessman, not a philanthropist. Carter sold his ranch. Talk to him, not me. He didn't have to sell. No, I reckon he didn't. And if John Carter ever shows his face here in Kearneyville again, he'll get his neck straight by a hang rope. We'll tie him up to the first tree. I'm sorry, Miss Carter. Perhaps if we could get word to your uncle... I don't know where he is, Mr. Dolan. Well, then, let's hope he'll stay in the cover till this thing quiets down. I... I don't think Uncle John went away on his own free will. What do you mean, Miss Carter? Something's happened to him. I know it. Well, none of your friends seem to share that viewpoint. There's one friend I can turn to. Oh? Who's that? Hop along Cassidy. You'll meet him soon enough. And whoever is responsible for Uncle John's disappearance will pay and pay dearly. Now back to Hopalong Cassidy. It's a beautiful spring day down at the Bar 20 where Hoppy and California are lounging on the ranch house porch looking over the mail one of the cowhands just brought in from town. California gives the half dozen envelopes an idle glance, then suddenly picks one out of the bunch. Doggone it, Hoppy. That's all we need to disturb the tranquility of this year ranch. <laughs> you mean tranquility, California. Well, supposing I do. Look at here. Oh, it's just a letter. What about it? What about it? It's a letter from a gal. Smell the smell em. You mean the perfume? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's from Miss Carter, Laura Carter. I wonder if... Well, that must be old John Carter's niece. Envelope postmarked Kearneyville. Well, I sure hope they ain't inviting us up there. You promised we wasn't going to leave the bar 20 for a whole month. Well, let's see what she has to say before you start worrying. Doggone it, Hoppy. All I want to do is just sit right here. The spring fever has got me... Really got me something terrible. You might as well read the bad news yourself, California. Here. Uh, bad news, huh? Sounds mighty odd to me. Hmm. Well, I'll be darned. So John Carter up and sold his ranch and lit out to the back country, huh? And his friends are going to lynch him if he returns. Looks like the gal's in trouble, huh, Hoppy? Eh, yeah, too bad, too. 
and I promised we wouldn't be leaving the ranch. Oh, no. Who said they wanted to stay around here? You think I want to grow old laying in this hammock? <laughs> Throw a saddle on top of a while to get my horse and let's go see what's happened. <laughs> That's all I can tell you, Mr. Cassidy. I'm so worried. Now, don't get yourself upset, Laura. Maybe your uncle just went visiting. Sure, probably just wanted to change the scenery. I don't think so, California. It's all so, so mysterious. No one saw Uncle John leave town. I inquired at the stage depot and everywhere I could think of. Well, John might have had to go someplace to take care of business. I'd have known about it if he had. You took care of things for him? I wrote all of Uncle's letters and read his correspondence to him. Oh, I see. And how come you didn't know about your uncle selling the ranch till Dolan shows up with a bill of sale? That's what's so strange. Laura, do you have a copy of your uncle's signature around? Why, yes. There should be something in this desk. Poppy, uh, why do you want that signature? You figure there's something funny about all this? Funny isn't the word for it, California. Here's an old receipt. Will this do? Sure, just the thing. Only, uh... What's the matter, Hoppy? Are you sure this is John Carter's signature? Of course. I know it isn't very legible. Uncle wasn't. I mean, isn't very good with the pen. Uh, you go ahead and cry, Laura. It'll do you good. Come on, California. Yeah, a shopping woman sure does sadden a feller. Where are you going, Hoppy? Just taking a little ride into town. I want a real close look at Dolan's bill of sale. <laughs> Stand up here in front of the mercantile. I'm getting me a bottle of sarsaparilla. Oh, it sure is hot. <laughs> hey, you better hunt up a blacksmith shop. A blacksmith shop? Uh, why? Your horse has a bar off his shoe, right foreleg. Look at the hoof print there in the dust. Well, sure it is. Well, it ain't hurting nothing. No, but it'll make it mighty easy for anybody to trail you. Yeah, I reckon the tracks would be sort of different at that. Well, there's the blacksmith shop up yonder, and I'll just, uh... Hey, Hoppy. What's the matter? See that fellow sitting on the bench in front of the blacksmith shop, the one with the beard? Yeah, what about him? Well, he kind of looks familiar, that's all. Well, don't let it worry you. No, but it does worry me, Hoppy. Somehow that fellow and trouble go together. I can feel it in my bones. I've seen him somewhere. Uh, uh, by golly, I got it. His name's Milo. Milo Birch. <laughs> well, I'm glad that settled. Knowed him about 15 years ago. Oh, he was a bad one then. And it doesn't look like he's improved much. Now, what's Milo doing in a one-horse town like this, Hoppy? Yeah, his gun was always for sale to the highest bidder. Maybe he's between jobs. No, Milo ain't very bright. But he'll always be where somebody's shelling out the money. Hmm. Well, suppose you renew an old friendship when I see what there is to learn about the Triangle Water Company. You know, Hoppy, a talk with Milo might be interesting. Yep. Real interest. Howdy there. Hey, say, mind if I sit down on the bench? Yeah, I do mind. Not even for an old friend? Friend? Sure, sure. I know you wouldn't turn away California Carson. California Carson? Well, I'll be <laughs> hanged. <laughs> you sure was. Almost. Almost what? Uh, almost hanged. That time in El Paso. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. It wasn't you with the bunch that run me out of town? Me? Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, and I reckon you ought to know me better than that, Milo. I don't know. I ain't so sure. But doggone it anyway, you and me are going to drink to the old days, California. Yep. As soon as the jobs I'm doing is through, we'll have champagne. Sarsaparilla for me. Oh, hey, sarsaparilla. <laughs> I'm full of it. Say, uh, you must be carrying a full money belt, huh? I sure am, California. I got something big. Cattle? Nope. Sheep, huh? Or maybe it's gold? Uh, uh, ain't no gold. But I can look out my front door and see a couple of poor fools trying to pan some. You don't say, huh? Yeah. And they ain't had any luck at all. Uh, Milo. Milo Birch has all the luck. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, Milo, uh, where is this here uh, job? A uh, 30-minute ride from here. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, now, uh, seeing as how we're old friends here, uh, Milo, maybe you could kind of... Nope, 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 I'm sorry, California, but there ain't room for no more. Come on, come on, and I'll buy you that sauce for early. No, oh, I think I'll just sit right here in the sun, Milo. I got some thinking to do. Thanks for showing me the bill of sale, Dolan. Not at all, Cassidy. As you can see, the transaction was perfectly legal. 
deed's been recorded. Any idea where Carter could have gone? Frankly, Cassidy, I feel that two things prompted him to leave this valley. First, the cattlemen are against him. And the others? Well, maybe John Carter wanted to see the big city. A few wild oats he forgot to sow in his youth. But that doesn't sound much like John Carter. The 15000 I paid him for the ranch might change his thinking. Maybe so. Just what do you plan to do with the ranch? Take a look at this map, Cassidy. Oh, the Carter Ranch. Yeah. I plan to cut it up into small farms. With Big Springs dammed up, the farms left plenty of water for irrigation. What about the cattle ranchers? Uh, the dam won't bother them. Only this time, they'll pay for their water. And how about the price, Dolan? That'll be taken care of. Due time. I wouldn't press those boys too far. Yes, it is. When I want your advice, I'll ask for it. You might be asking for it sooner than you expect, Dolan. Good day. <laughs> Poppy, I ain't a bit hungry. I'm not either, but a hotel dining room is a good place to talk and look over the citizens of this fair town. What did you find out from Milo Birch? Uh, I hate to admit it, Hoppy, but I didn't learn a darn thing. Well, you must have found out something. What did Milo say? Nothing, except he was going to make a lot of money, but he ain't going to work very hard for it if I know Milo. Uh, go on. Well, uh, oh yes, he ain't working in town. Because this job's a 30-minute ride from here. Anybody working with him? No, oh, don't think so. Only fellas he sees are a couple of prospectors, pan and gold. <laughs> you know, California, I think you found out a lot. Ah, uh, doggone it, Hoppy. Don't go riding me. I just... Uh, uh, oh, oh, look. Uh, coming this way. Oh, it's Lara Carter. Oh, Hoppy, I'm so glad I found you. Here, sit down. <laughs> What's the trouble? Dolan is breaking ground for the dam tomorrow morning. Yeah, he's moving kind of fast, Sandy Hoppy. Yeah, maybe he believes a good offense is the best defense. But, Hoppy, that's not all. The ranchers are holding a meeting tonight at the schoolhouse. That sounds like trouble. They're going to vote whether to prevent Dolan from going ahead with the dam. If I know them powers, it'll be guns talking, not votes. Maybe so, California, but there's still time before the meeting. Oh, if Uncle John would only come back. They'd string him up to the nearest tree. No, Lara's right. We need John Carter. And if he's alive, I'll find him before the meeting. <laughs> Appearances, John Carter has sold his ranch to a man named Dolan, who plans to erect a dam and form the Triangle Water Company. Enraged by this, the Valley ranchers are threatening to take a rope to Carter if he ever sets foot in the district again. At the moment, Hoppy and California are talking to Laura Carter in the hotel dining room. Oh, Hoppy, did you see Dolan? Yes, and the signature on Dolan's bill of sale is genuine. It compares with the receipt you gave me. I just know Uncle would never sign away his ranch and then... That man out there. I don't see nobody. Through the front window. Well, she's pointing at your old saddle park, California. Oh, Milo Birch. I would forgot about him until now. He's the man who came out to the ranch and bought a horse from Uncle John. Well, there's nothing strange about that. I don't know. About two weeks ago, he bought a broken-down old gray that Uncle had been trying to sell. I wasn't at the ranch, but Uncle pointed him out to me on the street one day. <laughs> a broken-down gray. <laughs> Hoppy, I told you Milo was kind of stupid. I wonder if he's that stupid. Uncle fancies himself quite a horse trader, and it tickled him to put something over on his back. By any chance, did your uncle give Birch a bill of sale for the horse? Why, yes. Uh, come to think of it, he did. Laura, you get back to the ranch and stay there. But what if the ranchers come out and start trouble? The meeting's right after sundown. If everything goes right, those ranchers may have a surprise when they call that meeting to order. California, I have a job for you. Yeah, Hoppy. When Milo Birch leaves town, see if you can trail him. Sure. But wait until after I've talked to him. You're going to speak with Milo. Right? Yeah, and you keep out of sight. Don't let him know we're working together. Reckon Milo Birch will be plumb surprised to know I was the partner of Hopalong Cassidy. He'll know in due time. Please be careful, Hoppy. I'm sure that that man is dangerous. Don't you worry about me. It's Milo Birch that'll have to do the worrying. <laughs> Howdy. You gonna go for a ride? What do you think I'm tightening this inch for? Of course I'm taking a ride if it's any of your business. Maybe it is my business. Just what are you getting there? That's a nice pinto you got there. Yeah. Got good lines. Sound horse. Sure know how to pick horse flesh. Sure. 
I know a good horse when I see one. And I don't have to get up before breakfast to beat you in a horse trade. Oh, uh, yeah, I reckon he sure would. Then why did you buy a broken down old gray from John Carter? Why, well, I, I, How'd you know that? Laura Carter told me. Now, looky here. I don't aim to start no trouble. Neither do I. Where is the gray horse? I got him pastured up yonder. Do you have the bill of sale Carter gave you? That ain't none of your business. Now get out of here. I want an answer, Birch, here and now. Here's your answer. Oh, oh, oh. let go. You're breaking my arm. Don't, don't ever pull a gun on a man unless you're fast enough to use it. Now drop that gun. No, uh, drop it. All right, all right. That's better. Yeah. Just who are you, anyhow, stranger? Yeah, the name's Cassidy. Hop along, Cassidy. Hop along, Cassidy? And if you were a younger man, you'd have come out worse than you did. And next time we meet, it'll be different. It sure will. And it's liable to be at that, Milo. Your kind usually winds up at the end of a rope. Go on, get on your horse while you're still able. I ain't forgetting this. Hubby. California, where are you? Over here in the alley. Milo's riding out of town. Yeah, I'll follow him. But you better do something. What do you mean? I just seen some of them ranchers ride in. They're packing rifles and spoiling for trouble. Well, I'll go have a talk with them, see if I can cool them off. You take care of Milo. Sure, yeah. Hoppy. I'll find his hideout or my name ain't California Carlson. Now, doggone it, Milo came this far. I know it. Hmm, pretty slick. Riding up the creek so he couldn't be trained. What you doing uh, up here, California? Why, uh, uh, why, Milo, uh, I, I was just getting some fresh air. I figure that you've been following me. Why, that ain't so, Milo. I've been sitting up here watching you come up the trail. Now, would I be doing any harm to an old friend like you? And another thing. I've been thinking it over. And I'm almost sure you was with that bunch that run me out of El Paso. Now, wait a minute, Milo. Put up that gun. You'll be shooting somebody if you ain't careful. And it'll be you. Unbuckle your gun belt. Now, Milo, what I say? Well, yeah, sure, sure. All right, all right. Crap. What else can I do with a gun muzzle staring at my wishbone? There. That's better. Now get on up ahead and don't try nothing. No, I, uh, uh where, where are we going? To see the boss. He'll know what to do with the likes of you. I've been telling you, Cassidy. There ain't gonna be no holding the boys if something ain't done, Prado. Us ranchers is plumb sick of things. Well, flying off the handle won't solve anything. Well, I never said it would. But we figured Dolan and Carter is trying to freeze us out of the country. Dolan, maybe. But not Carter. Now, wait a minute, Cassidy. I know your reputation, and I'm willing to string along. But some of my friends think it's awful funny how you keep sticking up for Carter. Carter is my friend. Then why don't you get him to tell the truth if he's all fired honest? I will, if I find him alive. Alive? Are you hinting that Carter's been killed? I'm not hinting at anything. Well, well, I can't do any more than I have, Carter Cassidy. Just get the boys to hold off until the meeting tonight. California should be back soon. Yeah, you've been saying that for an hour. Where is this partner, anyway? That's what I'm beginning to wonder. California should have been back before this. Where'd he go? Oh, someplace that's about a 30-minute ride from there. <laughs> he could have rode 30 minutes in any direction. That don't mean nothing. Well, that's a place where they're panning gold. There ain't no gold around here. Not even a couple of prospectors still trying to turn up some dust? Huh. Well, come to think of it, there was a couple of fellows working out along the Crooked Creek Road. Crooked Creek Road, huh? Yeah, out west of town. Thanks, mister. Thanks a lot. Well, well, if that don't beat all... This town's like a powder keg with a fuse half lit. And he's going off to pan gold. Why, I just can't understand you, Milo. Me and you being friends for so long. Shut up. And quit looking at that rifle by the door. I'll put a slug in you before you can get off that chair. I never seen the beat. You sure are a suspicious hombre. There's that uh, thumping sound again, under the floor. It's the wind. Yeah? It couldn't be old man Carter down there, could it? If you don't shut up, you'll get down there with him. So it is, John Carter. You've been holding him prisoner. If you don't shut up, you... Uh, uh, somebody's coming. Yeah. You sit there in that chair and don't move. I'm taking a look out the window. It's a bar. It's a long way around so nobody can follow me. we got to work fast, Milo. Ranch is to hold him. 
Who's that? A feller that... I was... knew you were short on brains, Milo, but I didn't know you were that stupid. But Dolan... I told you never to bring anybody out here. But he was following me, so I brung him along. Oh, following you, huh? Who are you working for, anyway? Myself, Dolan. I will take care of you and Carter. But Dolan, I thought you wanted to keep the old man alive in case you wanted him to sign something. We don't need his signature now. Get your hands up, Dolan. You too, Milo. Up here. What's your idea, Cassidy? I've been out there in the brush for ten minutes. I figured Milo was waiting for the boss, and I knew that his name was Dolan. Why, you've been eavesdropping, Hoppy. Well, I'll be doggone. Get the gun, Scalabon. It'll be a pleasure. You're not going to get mine? Look out, Hoppy. Your fingers will sting for a while, Dolan, but you're not hurt. Uh, you pay for this, Cassidy. Now, don't try to pick up that gun. Uh, Next time, I'll do more than shoot it out of your hand. Hoppy, they got Carter downstairs. So I heard. We'll get him and ride into town. What do you figure to do with me? You and Milo will have a nice long time to think of your sins. Up in state prison. But first, we're all going to attend a meeting in Kearneyville. The ranchers you tried to swindle are going to be very happy to learn the truth, Dolan. Yeah, he sold us out. Yeah, he did. Hold on there, boys. The first man that crosses that line will find himself in trouble. Go ahead, Carter. Tell him the truth. Men, the ranch ain't sold. It's going to be water from the springs just like before. How come you signed the bill of sale if it's a doggone honest, Carter? Yeah, I'm, I'm a proud man, boys. I never had book learning. Well, that ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Yes, it is. Boys, I can't read or write. If that don't be all. Well, I know you for 20 years. It's the first time I ever heard that. Carter, I knew that's the way it was. Because if you could read, you'd never sign away your land. I was so happy to get the best of Milo Birch and that horse to yield it. I just didn't think when I signed that paper that it'd be a bill of sale for my ranch. But as long as there's water in my springs, you'll get all you want and it won't cost you a blame cent. Hey! And I ain't never going to sign my name to another thing... Till I learn to read. <laughs> now back to our story. Hey, Hoppy, hey, what made you so darn sure that Dolan and Birch was working together? Birch wanted to fight when I had to see the bill of sale for the horse he bought from Carter. An honest man wouldn't do that. Ah, uh, doggone it, Hoppy. Quit grinning and tell me, how come you found the hideout so easy? <laughs> I just looked where you'd be, and there you were. That wasn't as easy then. I seen other hoof prints along that creek bank. Sure. There was only one set that belonged to a shiftless, lazy fellow who wouldn't take the time to have a new shoe put on his horse. <laughs> By golly, you're right. A plum forgot about that missing bar. But uh, how'd you know where to look? You told me. Oh, uh, what? I told you. Well, sure. You said two prospectors were panning gold. And you said that Milo claimed it took him 30 minutes to ride to his job. I found out the prospectors were working on Crooked Creek, and sure enough, there were the tracks of your horse. Well, doggone. <laughs> I sure helped, didn't I? Oh, you helped a lot. Oh, and another thing, Hoppy. How come you knew Carter couldn't read or write? Laura told us she read his letters to him, remember? Yeah, that's right. Never thought of it. Carter could read. He'd have read his own letters. Well, I guess there ain't nothing else to do but head for home. Well, how about getting a new shoe for your horse? Uh-oh, there ain't no hurry about it. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. <laughs> so funny, California. Oh, that putting off business. Say, it's a good thing I didn't think of that yesterday. How do you mean? Well, if yesterday I'd have done what I could have done today, uh, I mean, if I'd done today, what... Uh, kind what... of mixed up, huh? Well, doggone it, yeah. Uh, wh what I'm trying to say is this. If I'd have had that shoe fixed yesterday, you wouldn't have seen that missing bar and never found me. And uh, look at what would have happened today. I have nothing to say. Hmm, I got you, Hoppy, eh? <laughs> For once, you ain't got an answer. <laughs> you ain't got a word to say. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye from Hopalong Cassidy. We hope you'll be back with us when Hoppy and California again ride out from the Bar 20 for another dangerous and exciting adventure of the Old West. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Renegades of the San Rafael was written by Dean Owen and Howard Swart. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production.